Yo, what up? It's me again. After like one and a half weeks of not uploading, I'm back, boy. And I'm here because I'm bored. I'm fucking bored. I have nothing to do. No thing. There's nothing else to do with my time. I am here because I want to talk about this particular pad you can be, you can find on Hypixel Skyblock. A pad that's pretty known, but I've recently found out a glitch. It's possibly a glitch, I'm not quite sure. But what I do know is that it's probably not intended to be in the game. And this is the Andromite pad. Which, from the, from the stats, basically, it's okay. But I realized there is the Pearl Muncher. Which, the more XP you get, you level up the pet, and after leveling it up, you gain coins by throwing ender pearls on the ground and picking them up. Which, evol which also works when you farm Enderman. Even with the... What's it called? Uh, telekinesis enchantment. Which means, if I was to kill an Enderman and kill it, I would get 7 coins into my purse which means if I theoretically was to level up my pet over the price of ender pearls it means I can use my endermite pet for infinite money because you can go to the bazaar and buy ender pearls you can buy enough ender pearls, like a stack, which right now one ender pearl costs seven point six coins. Which means if I get my pet to about level fifty or more, it means I get more money. So theoretically, I don't have it right now, but if I bought a stack of ender pearls, I don't have any money on me. Okay. I don't have much money, I just bought expensive items, so I have 161k coins. Okay, I buy a stack of ender pearls, okay? For 441 coins. And now, if my pet was over level 50, and I threw out the coins, as you can see, it will add into my purse. Which means, it, I can throw out all these pearls, and get more coins than I originally bought them for making this an infinite money glitch literally infinite money which is interesting because it's quite easy to level up an endermite pet I mean I have this pet for like an hour and I already got to level 40 I got it just by mining sand but what I find the most effective, like tomorrow I will easily have this, so yeah you can just buy a pet and get infinite money, but on the other hand it's pretty slow, it's god dang slow because if you get over the level 60 you get one coin from each pearl, making a stack making you 64 coins. And you will continuously buy items, throw them on the ground, and pick them up. Which means if you get the max level, you get about 11 or 10 coins, I'm not quite sure. And at that point, it's way bigger difference. And you can get even more money. So that's the first part of the video. And the second is me talking about minions. Since many people have minions, okay, you you might have two slots. That's impossible. You okay? No matter how many slots you have, I I recently realized that many people don't know which minions to actually use. And I was a part of those people. I literally had no idea which minions are good, which aren't. And I recently realized that it's so easy 
to just get different kinds of minions and you get way more money I mean lots more money so I'm going to just quickly say the five probably like three okay I know about four yeah four that are the best on making money and those minions as the fourth best minion I would say is the obsidian minion which I used up until pretty recently like I don't know a week ago maybe I got the quartz minions and it helped because if right now I was to go to the bazaar and I look at the prices you can you can just look at mining for example right now as obsidian will sell for 18.4 coins which I I just knew that obsidian made well like a lot of money so I got obsidian but then like two days after I looked again scoured the entire thing quartz 26.4 coins which doesn't sound like much but when you get stacks of those those numbers add up which means quartz is n number third making quartz be the third best material to use for minions and then I realized what are the next minions well I so I decided to look up on the internet and I realized there are two other minions that are also really good the next one being the snow minion as a basic snow minion it doesn't make much but when you use compactors fuels and everything this farm can make insane amounts of money which I'm going to upgrade soon but yet I do not have it so right now I'm farming quartz as I feel like getting quartz is easier than getting obsidian I mean all you have to do at first is scale a few zombies after you kill them you can easily get into the spiders den in the spiders den you spend like I don't know matters on what sorts you have like for example I spent about two hours just killing spiders and I got into the nether nether yeah I have no idea what the name of that place is I even misspelled it I remember I misspelled it on my video originally the title of the video was what is it the flaming fortress and, it, and I wrote blazing fortress or maybe it was the other way around wait I need to look I need to check the blazing fortress yeah so right here it's really easy at least by my opinion to get quartz you just go right over here mine a few pieces of quartz so you unlock the minion and you easily can make a quartz minion that will make you enough money to make more money to buy more quartz to upgrade the minion and then you'll easily have more money I mean it's yeah it's so good but that guy I, I kinda went off track right there so the first minion is the enderling minion you can get from the slayer the enderman slayer or what, uh, what the name of that thing is which the slayers if you don't know it's this guy in the hub you can speak to him he will give you task to kill mobs after you kill those mobs it will spawn a boss and this boss uh, is it matters on which one I don't have that strong items I mean I have a uh, aspect of the dragons I have one piece of superior armor and ender armor which means I'm pretty poor but I managed to do some slayers only some yeah I failed this one <laughs> and there will be three more but right now the 
Void Gloom will give you pretty much a lot of money. Since from that you can get Enderling minions and Enderling minions should right now make more money than snow minions. Which if I look into the bazaar, go combat right here. I'm pretty sure that you can farm now spheres, which is a good way to make money. And Enderling minions also bring us a lot of money. But yeah, that's basically this video. I just wanted to kind of say my things. I kind of wanted to introduce you to the Endermite. And that's basically it. I don't really have much to say. Yeah, also, I recently realized, I just, before the video ends, I'm going to show you my most stupid idea that I ever came up with. Right here. I have pork chops. And I thought it was a good idea to place a pig minion. It will pro produce pigs to fall into the lava and die. Giving me enough items for me to sell them and I realized this was so ineffective even if you have 20 of those minions it can be good but at, at first I, 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 I was like you know the pigman sword is pretty good so I went to the collection I went into the farming into pork chop and I looked all the way at the end pigman minion a minion <laughs> sword which is pretty expensive but I didn't quite realize you need to get there in the collection you need to pick up the stash to get the experience meanwhile I drop the pigs down into lava through hoppers giving me a few pieces of a few pieces of pork chop and not upgrading my collection this was such a bad idea. I don't know how, how I even came up with this garbage. I have no idea what I was thinking. And also I actually want to say talisman. They're, they're so good. I was like really struggling at the beginning because I wanted to kill Enderman on one hit. But killing Enderman on one hit means you have to kill the Enderman using a sword which I at that point had a aspect of the end because I thought man the aspect of the end it must be so good it's garbage I mean it's pretty good but if you want to one shot the zealots it's not gonna work except you it will work if you have the What's it called? It's like the Protector Dragon set or whatever the hell that was because it boosts the uh, strength of the aspect of the end. But I didn't have it, I didn't even think about it. So I was doing like 1k damage sitting at like a wall killing the Enderman of 6000 HP hoping to get Ender Armor and then I realized again I could have just bought it at the auction for like 60k. Instead I was farming 24 hours. Sitting on a block and waiting and hoping that it will just drop. I mean, this was one of the biggest mistakes I ever did. Because it's so bad. You could have just bought the armor so easily like early on. You could have been... I could have at this point been so far and I'm here with one superior boots on a g <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it, okay? So this video is basically me speaking about Hypixel Skyblock kind of making quotes, you could say? I'm just trying to help people but already I know this video is going to have like 4 views so I won't really help anyone but still I'm doing a video because I'm bored. 
Also, I started a skyblock, uh, like, uh, I can actually look, like one and something year ago. Yeah, one year and ten months. It's nearly two years. Huh. Well, and I, my greatest idea was making a mob farm to get experience. The worst idea ever. You don't get experience. You don't get skill XP from it. Just look. Nothing. You get absolutely nothing. And I spent like 50 million years trying to build this thing with my friend that I have in my co-op. Hoping we will get skill XP. It was garbage. Terrible. But, I mean, the only thing that this thing was good for was getting string when I wanted to get the grappling hook. Which also, when I started Skyblock, I thought the auction house was full of crazy people that wanted millions and millions of coins for the simplest items. I didn't think you could go to the auction and buy a grappling hook for like 2k. No, too hard. Instead, I'm going to get 50 billion hours on this game just to get a flipping string to use for a grappling hook. It's so bad! I didn't even realize the auction worked this way. And at some point I was like, hmm, I have a million coins. I could look into the auction for something that could help me. At that point I realized my mistakes. I could have been so much further in this game in this time, but I just didn't know how the game works. I mean, right now, if I could tell myself from two years ago something, some useful information, it's just go check the Wikipedia, look at, at any YouTube video. Like any. I mean, I'm sitting here, just thinking, how was I this stupid? How? So yeah, that's this video, I'm going to end it right here. I don't want this video to be like 50 hours long. It's like this short tutorial for starter players. Which, to be honest, I believe... If someone watches the video and is an actual starter at the game... He will... Yeah... I mean, it could help him. But the chances of finding my channel, looking at this video and being like... This helped! It's like a 1... Like 0.00001% chance. So yeah. See ya.